I'm very curious to know the steps that you have taken in green hydrogen space. And how did this thought come up? So, you know, hydrogen is part of our uh, energy mix. Okay. We require hydrogen as a part of our energy requirement for our plant. Which means it's a, it's a raw material. Yeah, it okay. is it is a source of energy for us. Okay. And currently it is like a grey hydrogen. We have our own ammonia cracker plant hmm. in-house. Okay. And we get the ammonia and we crack it okay. for our hydrogen requirement. Okay. But once uh, this, you know, green hydrogen opportunity that came our way, I think I was uh, very keen on this. Hmm. And uh, as a, you know, that will also give me uh, understanding about the technology. Okay. So in future, if we want to leverage this technology when it comes to, you know, like I was talking earlier, you know, like getting into supply chain. Hmm. So that will give me a lot of insight into how this technology actually works. And uh, no best example, no better example than, you know, seeing it yourself at your own facility. Right. right. So I think that was a major, uh, you know, incentive for us. But like, if I have to understand in layman terms, to grey hydrogen hai kya? Or green hydrogen kaise ban jata? Like, what are the, what is the difference? So, grey hydrogen is when you are producing hydrogen from the conventional sources of energy. Power. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, green hydrogen is that you know uh, you are generating hydrogen through green through renewable sources. Okay. Understood. So, Understood. so earlier it was uh, we were uh, you know buying ammonia, ammonia, and then we were cracking it. Um, when we were cracking, we were using grid power. Okay. So that made it grey hydrogen. Okay. Understood. But now our hydrogen electrolyzer will be powered through renewable source. Okay. And uh, through solar energy. Okay. So that will make it uh, green hydrogen. Okay. And this solar energy will be on-site or off-site? Like... This is 100% on-site. And this will be installed where? Like on your roofs or... Uh, no, no, no. Hmm. So they, we, we have, uh, you know, uh, we have earmarked a separate area for this. Okay. Because, you know, there are a lot of safety concerns also around okay. it. Okay. And uh, we have to take the best, best of the precautions. Okay. And uh, we have identified a space uh, in the facility. And uh, we'll be installing it there on okay. ground. Okay. On ground. On ground. Yeah. Okay, understood. And this will be dedicated. The, the entire power that gets produced from this yeah. will be used for cracking ammonia. Uh, no. So this electrolyzer uh, technology okay. will be using the hydrogen produced from this plant okay. for our energy requirement. Understood. Yeah. Understood. This power will not go to the grid, right? This no. Will be no, only no. The, only we'll, purpose we'll, is we'll be using the hydrogen gas and as part of our production process. Understood. And this power which will be generated will be throughout the day or it is only when the sun comes in, etc. How does it work? So, yeah, it will be round the clock. Uh, the hydrogen uh, generation will be round the clock. Okay. And we'll be using this uh, hydrogen gas uh, 24-7. 24-7. Yes. Understood. But the power generation will be for during the sunlight hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Understood. Correct. Okay. And this uh, you have... And then there is storage also. So the there is storage excess, also. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So there is hydrogen gas storage also. Okay. So excess hydrogen gas stored during the day. Okay. And it will be used in the night. Okay. Yeah. Understood. Understood. And this is uh, like, do, are you going for a, your own investment or is this under an OPEX model? And why did you choose a particular model for this? Uh, so uh, we have we have seen this uh, technology outside India okay. working. We have seen the electrolyzer which country uh, electrolyzer plant in like Spain. Spain. Yeah. So you have yourself. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. And and uh, we have seen this running and uh, uh, we are quite confident of the you know the technology partner that we have chosen. Okay. And uh, once uh, it is operational, I'm sure you know this uh, pilot project uh, will be showcased across diverse industries. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. And, okay. And does it bring any cost savings also or is it like just a grey to green uh, right Why now it, no is, are like solar yes. brings a lot yes. of economics yes. you said payback is also yeah. Yeah. four and a half years in uh, group captivity is much faster yes. right in this like making an investment are there any cost drivers economics or what is driving like from grey to green is one driver I understand that but are there any cost advantage as well so currently, you know, this technology is also evolving and, uh, you know, the cost of hydrogen is coming down, right. uh, you know, like every year. And uh, right now, uh, we may not get like, uh, uh, you know, a financial, uh, you know, advantage immediately. Okay. okay. Uh, but, you know, for the next phase, definitely, you know, there'll be, there'll be huge savings. Okay. But, you know, uh, we'll uh, get a, uh, you know, whole idea about this and, you know, we'll get uh, used to this. Uh, technology so that you know we can use this across all our different manufacturing locations and uh, we'll be learning a lot from hmm. this hmm. and uh, we'll be doing some amendments and some improvements also okay. for our next phases understood. Uh, but then you know we'll set the ball rolling okay understood yeah.